Kia ora, my name's Paul Solomon. Um, I live in Mosgiel, uh, brought up in uh, Tamuka, about an hour and a half, two hours up the road. Uh, youngest of uh, 13 siblings, but I also have a uh, half-brother and half-sister on my father's side. I've left it late in life to come over here. Um, I think I left it a wee bit too late. <laughs> Not too late, but um, you know, I could be, I could have enjoyed earlier on in life uh, everything that that this place has given me um, spiritually, uh, a sense of belonging, um, being home. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, quite a quite a powerful feeling. Mm. Hard to, it's hard to put your finger on a, you know, the connection. Obviously, um, being Moriori, my my grandfather being the last known uh, full-blooded Moriori. Obviously, there's no definitive way of um, being able to say that he is simply because of, uh, you know, the history behind um, what's happened to the Moriori and uh, the disbursement of of a lot of people off the island. Um, but that's my main connection. But uh, you know, the just the it's hard to describe that. You know, when you get here, you feel at home. Uh, this week at Wananga is, is uh, I think I stated at the beginning of the Wananga that my kitty was pretty empty, um, and you know, I was just a sponge to you know fill it up as much as I could. Um, and I know that I've got a long way to go with that. Uh, but just learning waiata, learning karaki, um, some of the techniques that are, or discussing the possible uh, ways that our, our ancestors um, left their marks on the trees and the raku momori was, uh, is, yeah, that whole, you know, it's a whole ball of wax type thing, you know, it's, it's, um, it's pretty special. Uh, and I'd, I hope that, uh, you know, this is the first step in my journey um, in rediscovering who I am and, and uh, everything that goes behind that. Well, um, the resurgence for me, uh, yeah, like I said, it started <laughs> quite late in life. Um, and, uh, you know, I always, I always listen to my... my um, elder brothers and sisters and you know all the things that, but because I, you know there's such a generational gap um, maybe not between you know obviously the ones down my end of the, the whanau but um, just you know I was always the young child who you know you're brought up to you know to be seen and not heard and um, so not, you know questioning that sort of thing wasn't wasn't for me. That was I just listened to my elders, and um, so that I always had something in the back of my mind. But uh, yeah, it never really, it never really um, sort of blossomed into anything until you know uh, maybe five, five or six years ago, where um, you know there was some stuff that was happening down here that you know I wanted to get involved in. Um, and uh, my one of my older brothers actually said to me just yesterday, uh, you know, bro, uh, we wanted you involved earlier, but it's one of those things that you've got to feel. Mm. Uh, yeah, the future, um, I can... I, it's what we make of it, really, isn't it? And um, uh, for me... Uh, We've got a we've got a, a, a beautiful marae. We've got um, we've got a great leadership in in uh, our you know our, our Maui. Um, he he's been the driving force behind a lot of this. Um, so you know in terms of that uh, that's very strong. We have a very strong trust board. That um, you know there's there's been a, a bit of raru raru in the past. Uh, healing's begun, you know, let's turn that walker around and face it in the right direction. And uh, so in terms of, you know, the future, uh, I can see it now going from strength to strength. Um, and I want to be part of that, absolutely be part of that.